Hello everyone, today we're going to do a mini split Senville heat pump installation and we're going to walk you through the step by steps so you can do this at home without having to use a, an HVAC contractor. If you are handy, if, you're, if you've installed a ceiling fan or a lamp or done some work around the house, you can do this yourself as well. So I will post a link to the Senville unit because it does not come with the refrigerant lines which you see here or with the communicating wire between the two units but I'll give you a link where you can buy it and it all comes in one package first thing you want to do on the indoor unit is put the bracket in you want to make sure these arrows are pointing up so you want to put one screw there first and put a level you can place a level between these two areas here you see that place level and once you get a level, get a marker. As you can see, I've already done it to mark some areas where you're going to put some uh, screws, like you see there. And then you want to make sure you find a stud. So obviously, right here, there's a stud. So that's where I got my screw. I'm going to put, uh, leave that screw there, and then I'm going to use a uh, a metal screw here that's going to go through the metal and get the the stud in the back. That'll give it reinforcement. And then here, we just have anchor screws in there. But that's the first step. So we're going to pause and go ahead and do that next. Okay, so the next step here, we just drilled a round hole where, there are, where our wiring and our refrigerant lines are going to go through. Now on the outside of the building, we already did that too. What you want to make sure is that it's slanted this way. So since your drain line is also going to go through there, that the water drains that way if you do it like this you might have issues so if this holds here on the outside you want it down maybe about here so the water will drain easily out of the building next we took the uh, the wiring kit that comes with it that's basically going to send the signal from the outdoor unit to the indoor unit because the outdoor unit is the one that's going to plug to the outside receptacle so if you notice you have a red a black a white and then your your green wire which is your ground and on these blocks on the Senville units you have red black and yellow so you want to match them all up the same way except for the yellow which is going to be matched up with the white so you're going to have one two and three so red black white and then the ground is going to go on this connection here which is the universal symbol for ground so you want to make sure you do that that way and then once we do this, this block comes loose with that screw in the middle. We're going to put this block back in there, put the plate over it, cover it up, and we're good to go. The wire eventually goes through the back of the unit, and it's going to go through the wall with your drain line and your refrigerant lines as well. So this is the final install on the inside. Just hang it on the bracket, and you're good to go on the inside. Okay, and then on the outside, what you want to do, what you see there is a, uh, a part of the refrigerant line cover uh, kit. And we have some here, as you can see. And that'll just cover up your refrigerant lines and make it look, number one, make it look like a really nice install. And number two, protect it from the elements, such as UV rays from the sun and so forth. So that's something we're going to do next. And we'll take it from there. Okay, so you see how we already have the cover on there and we have our zip ties on there. And we're going to continue doing that until we get to the unit. Looking good so far. Okay, so one thing we did is when we came down the covers, we just decided to bring our drain line there. There's no sense in try to drain the water that way. Just have it come straight out. Put a little P-trap in there so you don't get the bugs in. And what we did is we opened a hole through the bottom there. See if you can see it there. And we'll just put some caulking over it in just a few minutes. So one thing you want to look out for on these uh, kits, they only give you X amount of elbows like these to turn a corner. Actually only one, which is fine. That's all we needed. So you got an elbow there. We needed another one here, and we couldn't. Uh, but this is okay, like if water comes through here, if it rains, 
it'll just go straight down that's a short run anyway we'll just put some caulking around it here we had to kind of cut it with some snips but we'll, we'll apply some caulking in there make it look a little nicer but uh, you can also order more of those elbows I believe but if not make sure your last run like this one here which is a short one is the one you use it on okay so one thing you want to keep in mind when it comes to the wiring to the outdoor unit is you want to keep the same pattern on these one two and three numbers as the actual wiring you had inside because up here they're different than they were on the indoor unit so if you remember number one was red number two was black and number three was white and that's the same way I did it here on the signal wire the wire that comes from the indoor unit to the outdoor unit now on the next two connectors that you see there, the L and the N, that's the power that's going into your supply or to your outlet or receptacle. So your white is going to be the neutral, and then the L's for your live wire, that's going to be the black one. So if you buy a three prong uh, plug that you can get at uh, online, you can order it on Amazon, you're going to notice that that's black white and then you're gonna have a green which is your ground anywhere in the chassis is ground so you can connect it the way we did it there and then if you notice on this side this is your ground it's connected there so you can do it that way that's as far as wiring goes okay so here's the uh, final look at the outdoor unit and you can see what we what you also want to make sure you do is these wires make sure that there's a loop on them so if it were to rain, you don't get water going inside the unit. So if it rains, the water will kind of drip down here, kind of lay here and then just drip down and not make it inside the unit. So this is the signal wire going to the inside unit. And then this wire is the one that plugs. So you want to also make sure you have a GFI outlet. The last thing you do is plug it in test it which we already did and you want to also test it on air conditioning mode so you can make sure that your drain line drains properly so do those steps and you should be able to install this by yourself if you have any questions about the install or any comments please feel free to leave them in the comment section below I usually respond within 24 hours also anything and everything we used on this video as far as accessories and supplies we will link them in the description so you can get it again the unit is made by Senville it is a very easy clear cut and dry install but again if you have any trouble along the way just post it in the comments below reach out to us and we'll be happy to help you thank you very much for watching